Hello and welcome to Mock Productions. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back with the last of the 15 packs here. This is going to be the one where somebody has their name on it. So thank you very much for everyone for commenting on the previous videos. Of course, we had the first one where we got a gold and a silver, the second one where we got a gold, silver, and of course that Crypt King, which was just remarkable. Okay, so what have we got in these last random ones? We have a Eruptor, Jetvac, Jetvac, Pop Fizz, Pop Fizz. Guys, let's see what we get. These could be amazing, these could just be, you know, bog standard. I'm hoping these could be something amazing. Um, just fingers crossed, hoping and praying that this could be exactly what we need. Snip all of that. Last one. There we go, let's get all these out. First one, Pop Fizz and a Pop Fizz. Can we get a whole five where they've actually got their own ones in? Okay, straight away, break that. Nope. <laughs> what about this one? No, that's got an Eruptor. Eruptor's got a Jet Vac. Yeah, oh yes, Jet Vac's got a Jet Vac. Oh no, he's got the Eruptor. Okay, fair enough. So let's move all of this off to the side. It's really sunny on my back as well, so it's uh, not exactly ideal. Um, but let's go first with this Eruptor pack. Let's go for it. Let's see what we get. Let's see, actually pick the scissors up properly. Try not to cut the cards as we cut into this first pack. Are we going to get something amazingly epic? I hope we are. Put that off to the side. There's the white card there. Go for it. Here we go, here we go, last five packs, the first of the last five packs of the first card here, we have Landslide, so it's an Earth 5 Crystal spell, randomly crush your enemies for 150 damage, very nice indeed. Then next up we're going to get, okay, interesting, Smash Hit, a character card, now we know how this works, this happened in the previous one, we had one character, then the ultimate, we had another character. Smash it, we haven't actually seen before as a single pack character. So that's rather interesting. Will that actually mean anything on the long run? Traptanium Arrow, that's a snapshot three crystal spell, shoot an enemy character for 80 damage and mute it. Next one up, this should be another rare. Vampiric Veil. An undead 4 crystal relic with 60 health. At the start of your turn, Vampiric Veil drains 20 max health from the active enemy. And here we go. Oh, no, let's not have all of them. The first one up is going to be... Oh, Ageless Bonsai. Okay, so this is a life 4 crystal relic with 80 health. At the end of your turn, gain a non-character life spell. Pretty cool. Our next one, we're going to get Iron Sky, Sh sorry, Sky Iron Shield, uh, a random three crystal gear, with, and it's basically 60 max health. Pull that one out, pull that to the side. Then we have Leafy Greens, which is a food fight three crystal spell, restore 50 health to an ally and give it 20 power. Not bad indeed. And our last one up, we're going to get... Portal Blast, which is a random 4 crystal spell, blast an enemy for 70 damage. So very, very cool indeed there. Let's just go over <coughs> the different rarities. We have Common, Common for Smash It, Rare, Rare, Epic for the Bonsai, Common, Common, Common. Overall, not bad Okay, indeed. so on to the next pack here. Let's crack this one open. And pull out the next load of eight here, or should we say nine, because of this lovely, lovely special card here. So there it is there. Go ahead and give that a scan. Throw it off to the side like a boss there. Smash it up. Right, so here we go. First card up out of these eight. We have Nether Warp. So this is a magic uh, six crystal spell. Afflict an enemy character for 100 damage. Give it minus 100 power until your next turn. Not bad indeed. Ooh. Yeah, it would help if you actually pulled it out, the, the, the card thing. Right, okay. Next one. Leeching Mist. Okay, so an undead 5 crystal spell. Give each enemy minus 50 power until your next turn. Restore 50 health to each ally. Not bad there. Next one up, we're going to get... Oh, boy! 
boy, that is pretty cool indeed. Have a look at this. We have a gold healing rain water to crystal spell. Restore 40 health to each ally. This is going to make it up to a 20. That is very cool news. Look at this gold. That is awesome. In each of these packs, we've scored a gold, which I don't think we've ever had in our five pack openings. Meltdown. Do you know what? I don't think we got this. And it's a hothead. Four crystal spell. Blast each enemy for 40 damage. If hothead was damaged last turn, destroy all enemy gear. That's very, very cool. A gold card in every single five pack. That, that could be a good sign. Vanishing Cloak, we don't have this one either. This is going really well. A Undead 2 Crystal Gear. At the end of your turn, if owner is active, swap it out for your healthiest sideline ally. Hmm. That's pretty cool. And then this should be... Ooh. Harmonic Pulse. I don't think we have this one. But it's an Earth 4 Crystal Spell. Shock a frontline enemy for, for 10 damage for each crystal you have. Hmm. Very cool indeed. Next one, we are going to get Static Pulse, which is a Flashwing 1 Crystal Spell, Snare the Active Enemy. If you have 7 or more crystals, shock it for 60 damage. Very nice indeed. And our last card of pack number 2 is going to be Magma Core, which is a Eruptor 3 Crystal Gear. At the start of your turn, if owner is active, gain a non-character Fire Spell. Pretty happy with that, so let's just have a little look through the rarities. We've got Common, Common, Common for Healing Rain, the gold one. Meltdown was a rare, Vanishing Cloak was a rare, Harmonic Pulse was an epic, Common, Common. Not bad there, there's probably about four to five new cards in that one. Um, <clears throat> there is obviously that double of the, uh, the Healing Rain, but of course that's a gold. So it's really nice to see that gold. Oh, look, the sun's going out. It's going out? What? It's not a candle, what are you on about? Ooh, it's gone really cold. <laughs> right, so there is the card there. Wow, there's a weird light now. That's really odd. Okay, so first one up. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch, watch the sun come back out, right? When I get an ultimate. <laughs> Abracaboom here, a magic one crystal spell. Blast a random enemy for 50 damage. Very nice indeed. Then we've got... Fireball, which is a Fire 4 Crystal spell. Blast an enemy for 90 damage. Very nice indeed. Oh, oh, is this a sign? The sun's coming out. Rust! Haha! -ha! We don't have this one. Now, good news. I actually got this in the game beforehand. It's a Washbuckler 1 Crystal spell. Turn an enemy gear to rusted junk. Very nice indeed. And I believe that was bladed braces there that uh, he was rusting there. Mobile generator. I think I have this, but it's a Tech 2 Crystal Relic with 90 health. At the start of each uh, each player's turn, that player gains 2 energy. Hmm. Next one is... Oh my gosh! This is amazing! Look at that! Crankcase is, is on fire. He's basically on fire. This is a Magic 3 Crystal spell, Essence Ignition. Give a non-character spell... Oh, sorry, of an enemy's element, blast that enemy for 10 damage for each enemy that card costs. Give a non-character spell of an enemy's element, blast that enemy for... Oh, right, I see, I got you. Very cool, very cool. Next one up, we have Anvilite, uh, which is a random zero crystal spell. Bonk the enemy for 10 damage. Not bad. <laughs> Next one up, Paralyzing Ink. I think we have this one. It's a Washbuckler 3 Crystal Spell. Afflict each enemy for 60 damage and snare them. That's really cool. Pop that one out. And then the last one of pack number 3 is going to be Anvil Rain, which is a random 3 Crystal Spell. Crush each enemy for 40 damage. Very nice indeed. Let's go through the rarities here. we got Common. Common. Rare for Rust, Rare for the Mobile Generator, Epic for Essence Ignition, Common, Common, Common. Very cool indeed. So that's the third pack there. Let's try and get these in order. That's the second pack there. That's the first pack there. Okay. Whew. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Pop this one out. There's our, there's our card there. So go ahead. Give it a scan. 
Right, here we go. These eight here. Are we looking at possibly something amazing in here? Let's hope. Tiny Twister. It's an air zero crystal spell. Swap in a random sideline enemy. Crush the active enemy for 10 damage. Not bad, not bad. Pop this next one in. Ooh, surprise attack. Nice, we don't have this one. This is good. Uh, a tech 5 crystal spell. Shoot an enemy for for damage equal to your active ally's power. That's actually rather cool. Right, next one up, we're going to get Sabotage. Do you know what? I don't think we have this one either. Um, it's a uh, tech three crystal spell. Um, blast an enemy for 60 damage. If it has a gear, blast each other enemy for 10 damage. Mm, that's pretty good, I guess. Stoke the Flame, which is a fire the five crystal spell. Uh, blast a frontline enemy for 70 damage. If you've already played a spell this turn, blast it for 140 damage instead. Very nice indeed. Next one up, we're going to get Mobile Generator again. A tech, a tech two crystal relic with 90 health. At the start of each player's turn, that player gains two energy. Not bad. This should either be the epic or ultimate here. What are we going to have? Fire hose. Okay. Uh, a fire one crystal spell. Um, ignite the active enemy for 30 damage. If it is KO'd this turn, return fire hose to your hand. Very nice. Next one up, we're going to get Swarm Welcome, which is a Crypt King three crystal spell. Crypt King grains, uh, sorry, drains health equal to his power from an enemy's character. Last pack for this fourth one is going to be Dragon Dive, which is a Spyro three crystal spell. Bash an enemy character for 80 health. Give it minus 80 power until your next turn. Very cool indeed. Let's just go through the rarities here. We have common, common for the surprise attack, common for sabotage, rare, rare, epic, common, common. Very nice indeed. Okay, so here is the last pack. Ooh, are we possibly looking at maybe an ultimate character in here? Who knows? We could be on for another gold. Make it four out of these. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Something's going on. The cards were a little bit uh, loose. <laughs> um, right, so there's that. Go ahead and give it a scan. I'll move this plastic over here. Here we go, last eight. <sighs> okay, first one up. It's Hex. Okay, it's a character card. This could be good. <laughs> it's definitely... Okay, that's fine. Hex. Can it be followed by maybe another character? No, it's Tangle Kelp, but that's okay. Water, three crystal spells, subdue an enemy and destroy its gear. Very nice indeed. The next one is going to be Mind Reader. We have this one, but it's a magic one crystal spell. Gain a copy of a non-character spell from the enemy deck. Next one up is going to be Nightshade Oil, which we've already got, but it's a Stealth Elf 2 crystal spell. Until the end of your next turn, give Stealth Elf plus 20 power, and whenever she attacks an enemy, mute it. Which is pretty cool indeed. Okay, next one up we have... Oh my gosh, get in there. We have a Silver of Titan's Hilt, which is a Crypt King 4 crystal gear. Plus 50 power if owner hasn't swapped this turn. Very, very nice indeed. Very cool card. Okay, so this should be the ultimate slash epic. Okay, it's an epic. It's another Crypt King. We're getting a lot of Crypt Kings. Um, so this is a 7 crystal spell. Show me the mummy. Bash the active enemy for 180 damage and mute it. Very cool indeed. Next one up, we have Ghost Swords, which we've had before, but it's a random two crystal gear with plus 20 power. And our last card, could this possibly be a character? It's Trickster's tr it's tricks Trap, um, which is a Stealth Elf 1 crystal spell, swap in an enemy and snare it. So overall, these five packs have been pretty good. Um, no, they haven't had any golds, but yes, they have had actually quite a nice amount of new cards which is always good. So we've got here common, 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 rare, rare for that silver titan's hilt, epic for show me the mummy, common, common. Now as much as this whole pack here was a, it was basically duplicate city, that titan's hilt was a silver, so that is basically what I would class as a new one. 
So, that was rather cool. 15 packs opened. Very nicely done. We've had some awesome stuff. One new ultimate, three golds, three silvers, possibly more. Um, but that, that, you can't ask for much more, really. Five packs have all had one silver, one gold. Um, and we've also had, I think it was two ultimates. Um, which is uh, pretty awesome indeed. So I am definitely very, very happy with this. So uh, thank you very much for everyone who has commented on the past two. Let me know what you would like to see done maybe in the next uh, um, few pack openings. I might give it a little bit of time now just to sort of put these aside. Um, but not, not they're not gone forever, trust me. I want to find all the ultimates. But I'm going to try and make sure I get the best deal now on the packs rather than... Uh, buying them when I should have bought them a few weeks ago. Let's just put it that way. Um, but uh, yes, that shall do. So anyway, um, subscribe, comment and rate as you would normally do. And I shall see you guys in the next video on the channel. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys then. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>